Hey golfers and welcome back to the Second Swing Tour event at the Minnetonka store and today we've got a very fun iron comparison. It's the Titleist T100, the 2023 version and the 2021 version. Um, Michael Geiger is with me today. We're going to do some testing but uh, first Michael we got to just kind of give the breakdown here mm -hmm. of these two irons and I mean whether it's the 2021 version or now the 2023 version I mean perhaps the most popular iron in golf. So clearly Titleist is doing something right here. Uh, the 2021 T100 was probably my favorite iron of that that 2021 class. Yeah. Um, really a spectacular club from looks to feel, um, kind of drawing on back on the lineage of the old AP2 irons, which is um, you know such a famous iron for Titleist, and and they've really taken the torch. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's a fantastic club that I I love. So I'm really really curious to see how it stacks up with the uh, kind of the new kit on the block. Yeah, it's uh, it's fascinating how Titleist really the last two iron series that they've done with the T series how quickly that model has been adopted on tour. Yeah. I mean, right away, those guys are throwing it in the bag. They have their sort of tour adoption process, which is a month or two before it's kind of available to people like us. And so, uh, but then they, they throw it in right away and mm -hmm. it's seamless and they see the improvements, they see the better performance. And so that's what I'm curious about today is, is if, you know, again, we're gonna hit not exactly the sample that they, maybe these guys do when they're testing, right? But right. Um, what kind of performance may be differences that we see, but also the feel and maybe look differences as well. There might be subtle, but there they gotta be. There's gotta be a little bit there. Definitely, I think we'll we'll get into it. I mean, just as a little teaser. I mean, looks you're you're really splitting hairs. It's, yeah. it's it, the differences are pretty pretty fine between these two irons. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, as someone who again, as someone who loved the, the 2021 version kind of happy they didn't, you know, mess with perfection. So right. uh, the, I think the real differences are really going to be uh, settled on the uh, on the track, man. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so we'll hit a few shots with each and we'll come back and look at all the data. One thing that we really won't be able to test today that I did want to mention, and I know if we were outside, we'd be able to do that, but it is the sole build in that it's a little bit more rounded on the 2023 T100. The the edges on the sole have just been rounded off a little bit better, smoother turf interaction there mm -hmm. that you would see out on the golf course. But today we've got the mat, of course. And so um, we will simply look at the numbers here and then we'll get Michael's feedback on how they look, how they feel. And then we'll let you guys know uh, the differences there between these two. But uh, Michael, are you ready to hit some shots? Yet? Let's do it. All right, Mr. Geiger, looks like the you got the 2021 uh, T100 first. Yep. Just, uh, well, we've got the First at the stage, Project X 6.0 shafts. Yeah. Um, now talk to me about the um, club head, what it looks like, an address, what you see there. I mean, I have a good idea already, having tested this iron several times before, yeah. and and you know, being this as popular as it was, but just kind of set the stage there and talk about what that looks like. It's it's a player's iron, that's not a, a ping blueprint. Yeah. It's you know you don't have. Player's iron can kind of connotes sort of a low confidence, really super thin top line. And there is a, a thinner top line and there's a, a more compact face, but it's still it's still confidence inspiring sure. for, for a player like me. So yeah. um, it's really uh, it's really a beautiful club. Sure. It's nothing's really sharp or jutting out. It's a really kind of just solidly compact, um, really aesthetically pleasing face. Sure, sure. Yeah. So with seven iron here, um, 34 degrees of loft on both of them. So loft won't be an issue. They're both set to kind of the standard loft and lie. So um, it'll be, just, I'm just curious to see what, you know, if there's anything that emerges in the trends mm -hmm. or maybe there won't be a huge difference. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll see. Let's do it. It's a pretty solid first swing, my goodness. Okay then. I don't think it gets much straighter than that. <laughs> Well, it does. If you had seven feet of curve, Michael, how could you curve it that much? Hold it. <laughs> okay. So, and in past videos, when we've hit seven irons. You've said your carry with that, with your gamer, is yeah. about one seventy-five to one eighty usually. Yeah. yeah. And, and with this club, I think it's one degree stronger okay. than mine. So that this so kind of you checks should out. see a little bit more carry distance then. Yep. Three pretty good swings in so far, and you're hitting the ball pretty solid. That carry just is kind of hovering just over 180 there. Yeah. It seems like. Um, how's the How's the feel after just, three just good shots? Terrific. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it uh, again. I'm I'm a huge fan of this club. Uh, it's it's going to be tough for the new version to to knock yeah. off its pedestal for me. It sounds like it's just a it's a 
it's kind of a soft thud, if you will. Yeah. It makes you make contact, at least in here, you know, you, in here, it's obviously very different than hitting outside, but sure. there is with it being like a, you know, there's so much echo and stuff in here. You can almost hear the differences in clubs so much more Definitely. than you are than when you're outside. And so, um, but here, like, it just seems like it, yeah, the forged feel soft. There's not a lot of vibration or, or right. You know, uh, sound waves going on there, if you will. Right, but you mentioned that thud. It still feels very solid. Yeah, it's yeah. not. It's not, you know, not weak. It's soft, but it's it's very solid. That one was fat. Okay, there's a there's a slight miss there. Just a little bit, a little bit fat. Yep. Well, you curved it one foot there. <laughs> and thin. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, and then you can see actually over here, we've got the impact location on my the monitor to my right here. And the ball is just slightly below the equator. I can actually, it's just so I, I can't just talk about it and not show it, right? So I'm gonna bring it up here. So that's yep. a little bit thin, but still pretty good, right? And you're, you're missing that basically a groove, sure. maybe groove and a half low. And to see that ball still get out there, 185 carry. Yep. The spin dropped a tad actually, which is interesting because usually the spin will kind of even go up a little bit, mm -hmm. but um, that's a pretty good, I guess, performance on, on, a, on a slight miss there. Yeah. It's going to be a little high right. Yeah, that face angle just open? Yeah, a little open, five degrees. Five degrees is, yeah, I suppose that'll make a difference. Uh, that 60 curve is not what we're looking for. Yep. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. All right, this is fun. So. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to take the best six of eight swings. Okay. So, and actually there, but it's, it's a little bit nice because we have kind of six very clear yes. swings to use. So we've got, we'll take out this kind of fat one. And then I believe it was this one here, the number seven, that was the one that went far right. Yep. And so from there, we've got um, six balls and you're going to like this distance consistency here on this dispersion. Look at that. Yeah. So I can kind of get, a sense of why you like this iron so much. You get to play that sort of baby fade that you like to play. Yeah. And as long as you hit the ball relatively around the center, even the one that you said was below the equator there a little bit and probably yeah. a group and a half low, still is right in this ballpark here. So, I mean, pretty good stuff from the previous generation T100. Exactly. No, it's uh, when you can hit your shape and hit your distance, that's, uh, that's pretty much all you can ask mm -hmm. from an iron. Right numbers here just to kind of the benchmark here i mean look at again one and a half is that deviation on the carry distance uh that's really really good stuff a little over six thousand on the spin 136 smash is really good 182.7 carried lines up totally with what you had mentioned about your your gamer and, and you know another uh a stronger and, and lost by one degree yep. kind of makes complete sense there and then the other part too for you and and right, just barely over 100 feet pretty consistently right a deviation yep. of five feet there that's a pretty darn good start, and that's a pretty high bar for the new one to, to catch there, I think. Yeah, this this really across the board. I mean, you talk about ball speed, plus or minus less than one mile per hour. That's yeah. uh, mm -hmm. It's just an incredibly consistent iron. Mm -hmm. So let's shift gears to the 2023 version here. Let's do it. All right, so Michael, the 2023 version now. Tell me, actually, what I'm going to do is give you both of these. Sure. And then uh, if you can possibly... Give me, I mean, if you see anything from the naked eye, if you, um, is there anything that, of feedback that you see difference wise? It's really, honestly, it's, it's sort of what you pointed out in the opening, just that you see the new version just has a, a slightly more rounded yeah. kind of sole, maybe just a little bit more mass, just a, a touch more weight there. It's okay. maybe not quite as compact, but it's essentially the same visual when you look okay. down. So yeah. um, that kind of friendly player's look is, is there sure. still. Yeah. I was curious about that because it, it, they did, they, yeah, that, that sole does look a little bit different. It's almost a little bit larger, but it's also more, yeah, more rounded where yeah. it's, it can be easier to get out of the turf a little bit, which mm -hmm. will only, I guess, improve the performance when you're swinging in right. a variety of turf conditions. So. All right. First swing. Look at that. It felt a reasonable amount hotter. It did. Okay. It's because I, again, this is, that's only one swing and we can maybe wait to make any, I guess, big time judgments. Um, but I thought it was a little bit louder. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, which can be good or bad depending on your preference as a sure. player. Um, but I, 
we got a few more swings. I, I just was my initial that, first takeaway on that. My first take, yeah, exactly. It did. The smash factor did go up. I mean, that's one three nine. I think no, that's it, higher it, than it was a good. Yet, it was so. a good swing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, clearly you're you're. That's re another really efficient swing there. Yeah. A little pull. Ooh, we'll see if that one. Yeah, that might. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> little interesting. There's a good poke at it too. Yeah. God, you you are swinging the. The, the club well here, Michael. I think T100 suits your game, whether it's the new or the old one. They both, they both <laughs> yeah. look and feel pretty much kind of what I look for in an iron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think even this is now four swings in. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think I almost want to jump to that conclusion that, again, this is subtle, but yeah. it's just a little bit firmer maybe yeah. or, or louder, a little bit more to listen to, I guess. It, and you, you feel it at impact just a, a touch yeah. hotter. And yeah. hotter almost connotes like it's like a, a hollow player's distance. Yeah. It, it's just more solid, I guess yeah, you could yeah. say. Yeah, these are, I mean, you are throwing some darts here. <laughs> I think, and again, we're, we got a few more left here. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see in the numbers, though, a slight increase in distance here. I Yeah, and to be honest, I, I feel like the, the club head speed has been pretty comparable. Mm -hmm. Little miss hit there. There's a slight miss. I mean, you were due for one. <laughs> and, and I say that in the sense of like our best six of eight. Like I was, sure. I was looking at it and like, which one are we actually going to not use here? You know? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm always good for a couple of those. <laughs> Even though, I mean, that's still not it's, like. It's okay. You lose five yards of carry or six <laughs> yards of carry. You're probably still putting. You just might have 40 feet instead of it's 10. Downhill putt. A solidly hit push. Okay. Yeah, the spin does go up a little bit there yep. with that kind of face open, but there's your uh, there's your one to remove. Okay, so there's okay. So that's kind of as I bring up the numbers here, Michael. I think do we want to just sort of make that as a solidified takeaway from this is that it's just a little bit more solid and kind of slightly. Louder feet, yes. feel and sound. Yeah. If, if I had to guess, it that I think the numbers are going to be pretty comparable, but maybe the ball speed just one or two miles an hour more would be my yeah. guess. Yeah, I think you might be right about that. So we'll take this one, and I believe it was was it eleven or no? This one here, fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yep, because that was the one three zero. So what we have then. So we want to go dispersion or numbers first. Let's there, do uh, let's do dispersion. Okay, we'll see the dispersion here. So. There's the dispersion comparison between the two. We've got the best six of eight up there, as I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, I think in both, you see very consistent distance between them. Um, it seemed like the fade, and this is, again, this is a small sample size, but the fade wasn't quite showing up as much with the new model. And maybe that's something to do with a little bit more weight kind of down low to for the, for, for the I guess, stabilizing and forgiveness mm -hmm. of the club. Maybe again, we're kind of nitpicking here, but I mean, those are, it's not a surprise to see those dispersion patterns be pretty similar there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's no left misses and, right. and only, you know, again, consistent uh, carry distance. This mm -hmm. is uh, it, it, I, the T100 is, yeah. no matter the generation, is, is a great club. And then we'll bring up the numbers here. This, this is the, the thing I was looking for was kind of the, the deviation factors, right? And mm -hmm. see if those could even improve what they already set the bar for. And honestly, they did. Um, so the, uh, it's funny, the club speed is actually slightly lower. Right. But the ball speed was higher, smash factor higher. So I think there's something there that, to this club just being a touch hotter yep. than the 2021 version, um, which again, not a bad thing in the slightest. And maybe there's something there too where because they went away from the T100S yep. and instead made a T150, maybe they wanted to you know, provide a touch more speed and pop for those players that want sure. it, that still want, I want the T100 look, but they don't want to necessarily sacrifice all that, or maybe they still want enough of a punch there with the T100, mm -hmm. so it's, it's certainly there. But deviation numbers are lower at the spin, carry distance, total distance, um, 
the ball speed ones right there, right? You had just a couple, um, actually those couple, first couple ones that were really high. Actually, I think you touched one four zero on Smash on one there too. Um, I mean, what, what else do you see on these numbers here, Michael? Uh, this is uh, pretty good stuff. For me, I mean, the, the height, I think, the, yeah. uh, the fact that it went farther, but you still had the landing angle that went up. Um, you know, keeping that height somewhere in the 100 to 110 foot range is, is ideal for me. Um, it's pretty incredible. They're basically, the numbers are almost identical across yeah. the board. It's just, you're going to get, you know, maybe three more yards out of it. it yeah. You know, kind of one more mile an hour ball speed. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably, it's, I think we can kind of draw a few conclusions here and one being maybe a slightly, again, nitpicking to some degree here, slightly louder sound. Yep. And like you mentioned, when hitting the shots, a little bit more solid on the feel. Um, still feels fantastic for a player's iron. Definitely. And sounds, you know, nice and soft, too. Um, but then in the, in the numbers and the performance, I did see those, dis- those deviation numbers and consistency factors become even a little bit better, which is mm-hmm. really impressive for the new model to beat what the 2021 version kind of set the bar at. Yeah, definitely. I think, I, I think you hit on it there that if you... Uh, you know, are really just concerned solely about price. The the 2021 model is, mm-hmm. is going to be a real solid option. But if you want that kind of little extra audio and that tiny bit extra distance, mm-hmm. then the 2023 is adding a very similar look and feel. You're just getting maybe a touch more performance. Right. And there's a ton of T100 uh, 2021 models at secondswing.com to choose from. Variety of shafts, lengths. Um, you know, we can adjust the line, go for you, you name it. But if you're looking for something brand new, the latest of the latest from Titleist, the 2023 version can also be fit for in the tour van. So um, you've got your options. You've seen what the differences are. Um, It depends on what you as a player are looking for. If you're looking for that extra yard or two in carry or looking for uh, maybe a slightly tighter um, deviation, right, from the ball speed and the spin, uh, you might benefit from the new model. But 2021 version, fantastic as well. Really solid. Michael, thank you for joining on the test today. Really good stuff. I think a lot of people are curious about this one. Mm-hmm. And so we've got the information out there and uh, now we just need some people to get fit, right? So, but really good swinging today, by the way. Lots of darts thrown with the seven iron today. Appreciate it.